Hello and welcome back to Dragon Ball. Believe it or not, this other mic I've been using is my PS4 mic. So if it sounds different, that's the reason why. I don't know why, it's just it's weird. It's a lot different than the other mic I use. The only difference is the color, but it's still the same type. It's a smooth one. Anyway. Oh, uh, let's see. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Ah, uh, let's go to Gesson Brunner. Optionals first, then mains second. Know why? She bleeds. One hit. Bleed. Hard times. It's a short train ride to get some brooding. You exit the subway car, stepping onto the old grungy platform. The place deserted, though signs of life are everywhere. A gaping hole in the ceiling filters cool, hazy light in from above. To your right, a small plot of crop struggles to endure in the cold and the limited light of the station. Trash and junk litters the platform, and it's clear that this place hasn't had any resembling a janitorial staff in quite some time. Somewhere in this old run-down U-Bahn station lies the entrance to the Gessenbrunn Kiss, and hopefully some leads on, where, on the whereabouts of the Rabengeister and Grunari's missing shipments. Fluorescent glow lights are barely keeping the plants light. Almost no light from the surface makes it far on the ground. The stairwell down looks to have been completely collapsed. Nothing to my left. So it's a guard, huh? Let's deal with that guard. That's far enough. An old man raises his hand, squinting at you, squinting as you approach. To his left, a young orc shifts his weight, resting one hand casually on a pistol as if both are dressed in what might be considered uniforms. It's hard to tell for sure. We don't get me visitors yet. Hey, you'll forgive me for saying, but uh, you don't really look the type that usually comes through here. He looks 
bed for you, would they? Well, um... <clears throat> I'm from the Christmas Hall. We think a gang in these parts calls themselves the Robin Geister hijacked a shipment belonging to us. Do you hear about anything like that? Gang, eh? The man looks over to his partner and then back at you where? You know, we keep security pretty tight around here. If a gang like that was running stuff around here, we know about it. Now, look. We don't want any trouble. Why don't you just move along and catch the next train back? The last thing I want to cause is any trouble. You look like you have to deal with more than enough of that. Do you mind if I just take a quick look around? The guards have changed places again. After a moment, the old man steps aside. Well, all right, I suppose there's a walk that. Just watch yourself, okay? You cause a scene. Look for this gang of yours, there's more to our little militia here than you want to mess with. Well, we just wanted to check some stuff out. I mean, if that's cool with you. We want to see what the haps is going on here, you know? Man before you is average building in nondescript dress. Leaning back against the old wooden cabinet, reading a book. As he smile, as you approach, he looks up and casts a warm smile in your direction. Come on, name's Gordon Friend. Can't I have seen you around these parts before? Just pass it through. Um, have you seen a shipment of weapons pass over here recently? Oh, no one. Oh, no, 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 no. What can you tell me about? It? Got some brewing, it's my old one, and we've got a small bar set up over there. But of course, you want to know about the market? It's nice like that. It used to be something to behold, my friend. One of the grandest markets in the city. You could buy nearly anything in these stores for the right price. It's a real shame, but little by little, things slow down. Folks stop talking. Folks stop taking this subway line so much. But I guess it's the way it feels. So, uh, you seen a shipment of weapons pad through here recently? Space folks, I wish I had, Fred. It's too bad. This place used to be soil with commas. But now, we're not hunting anything past it. So, yeah, I'm afraid. Really? Folks around here are lucky enough to have full beer at the end of the day. Tough times, I suppose. They are. Do you need anything else, friend? I'm looking for information. Never heard of a gang called a Robin Geister? Certainly, they've been spinning quite a day in these parts of the Hard to know anything of I'm sure. Well, one rumor says they hijack freight out of fact for the truth. Then the next day, you'll hear about the sighting down in Alexander Plots. Hey! Just yesterday, I heard someone claim they saw a member of the Robin Geister speed by in the U-Bahn tunnel, getting into the side of a train car. Ha! Between you and me, there's probably a gang called Theft of Strange One Tunnel. I heard them implant suction cups to the hundred feet, I guess. They really like hitching rides on the U-Bahn. Okay. Shakes his head on amusement. Oh, that's a good state for you, though. Food is strange and unexpected. No, we don't. I truly appreciate the information. What's in this garbage? Something smell something smells like something died here from a close inspection. Ugh.
Drug work to be handmade, out of rusty sheet metal. Nothing of value catches your eye with it. And nothing of value is actually ever lost here. Thank you. Water is flooding out of the walls and the stagnating pools of the tile floor. You can smell the mildew from here. Uh, yeah, full time. Mm -hmm. This appears to be an old U Bond information terminal. Judging by assistant design and current condition, it's quite old. As you approach, the machine makes a series of sputtering sounds as the dusk covered screen flickers dimly to light. Time since last update. 52. Oh god. Okay. Um, the the screen goes dark as the machine begins to emit a bizarre variety of clicking and chirping sounds. Oh. Windows 95. After an interminable amount of time, the screen finally shutters back to light. So one, two, five are corrupted. What's the station next week? Selected station history. Gessen Brunnen Station opened up on April 18, 1930, as the final stop along the U-Bahn's UB line. It was designed by prominent U-Bahn architect Alfred Grenada. Construction on the UB line began in 1914 under Erich Mai Ivich I knew I was going to be running into this sooner or later, but labor shortages and the First World War put the project on hold for over the, a decade. The eventual completion and opening of this home line between Nukulin and Gesundbrunnen in 1930 represented a major step forward in connecting Berlin's working class districts to a city center. During World War II, many unfinished during World War II, many unfinished tunnels and stations along the UB line were converted into air raid shelters, including parts of Gesundbrunnen Station. In the decades following the war, the station also served as an emergency fallout shelter in the event of a nuclear attack. During the Cold War, the UB line continued to run between Nekrin and Gesundbrunnen, taking it under the well and through parts of East Berlin. The train would skip all East Berlin stations until it merged on the far side near Gessenbrunnen. Today, the UB line continues to operate carrying thousands of passengers through Gessenbrunnen station on a daily basis. In addition, the former bunker at this location has been transformed into a popular museum exhibit showcasing the history and development of Please inquire at the information kiosk for, inform for current. Yeah, I can read this. Please inquire at the information kiosk for current museum rates and hours of entrance.
press the 4 key, only you realize that the key is missing from the keyboard. A thick layer of grime and dust rests in its place. Yeah. a set of scuff marks on the ground, as if something heavy was dragged across here, the marks vanishing to the wall. You find a small seam in the wall that suggests there might be a passageway hidden in the wall here, but you can spot no clear mechanism for opening it. Maybe we should ask around. This looks like the place, so I'm sure someone likes to spill the beans. Yeah, well I got the strength to back it up. It takes some doing, but you manage to force open the false wall. The hinges give way with a scrape and a crunch, and the passage behind it is revealed. These crates don't seem to be part of the shipment that was en route to the Christmas time. This is the same man you met in the market, but the friendliness is gone from his face. In his place is a cold, unwavering gaze. You should have stuck to the market, stranger. If the Robin guy still wishes to be found, meet up in a fucking cafe. And what do you want from us? Say your piece. Uh, okay. Well, uh, you know, oh, I just want to see what the rabbit guys their fussles about. Cool, cool pad you got here. He stares you down and for a moment then breaks into a chuckle. No, but, right? <laughs> We've been running jobs all this kids for years. But besides using this bunk as a permanent base, nice cat, easy place to hold up it. Continue. This place is over all years old, you know. During the Second World War, they converted this pot of the station into an R.H. Very nice to get in any well, in any case anyone spotted bombers oversee one appears more relaxed his tone more friendly he seems to be he seems to enjoy relating the history of this, of this place. okay then during the Cold War they didn't need this whole station and emergency for our center, you know, in case the Russians and Americans decide to blow each other up. This was back when Berlin was invited into war. Of course, things got better a while after that. Have a few decades before the awakening I hear they used to give to us. <laughs> he laughs. This is the tour, I'm afraid. So, you found the cruise bazaar and you're, you're here to get your stone shipping back, that right? They're shipping belong to us, I'm not leaving them without it. Which is why I completely understand, stranger, believe me. But unfortunately, we need those supplies more than you do. So I will have to graciously decline your offer to relieve us of your property. And I will graciously give you one chance to turn over those supplies before I shoot you in the face. You emphasis really not searching for weapons for fuck's sake. You got to say, oh, there's one bloodshed. But we cannot back down on this side, stranger. Warren sighs and draws his rifle.
Lo and behold, that is your ass. If it's right. Mm. And hemorrhaging? Why, why yes. You know what? fighting without fighting so much. Just full of all Simpsons recordings. Standard cyber terminal waits on the table before you. The screen is active, displaying a basic list of simple data queries. Check inventory logs. It appears that the Robin Geister keep a detailed inventory of their stolen goods. A quick scan of the data indicates that while the medical supplies bound for a cruise bazaar are long gone, Gunari's missing weapons shipment is currently in a storage locker at Frankfurter Tour. The locker number is marked as 49. Copy the information to your PDA and forward it to forward it on to Gunai. Well, 
Squeeze out. Of death, I uh, sort of you'll not find anywhere else to fill in. Okay, let's take it around. Sure, let's see what you have. Desi despite the shopkeeper's claim, her inventory looks decidedly poor. Most of these weapons appear rusty and ill repair. Particularly cobbled together pistol stands out from the bunch. Slapdash. A slapdash pistol. Wow. Take that out. I'll just take that out. Uh, what's up with the shoddy looking pistol? Exquisite. Is it no? Like of a master craftsman who reached the air force, some of the finest slug throws you'll ever find on this side of the Atlantic and Enterprise. A steel. Looks like some of those parts are hot glued together. As I said, the work of a master craftsman, a weapon made by any other, would simply break after being fired. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll be going now, thanks. Some rations, salvage, or some home remedies. I'll take these, thank you. Just looking for information. Ever heard of a game called the Rabbit Guy, sir? Troll's eyes flicker back. No, can't stop. Alright, see you around. This prey has been probably hastily opened. There's a partially torn shipping label that has been. On the side, most of the ink has been worn off of the work. But the word. Cruise Bazaar is still clearly visible. I have no idea what you're talking about, mate. Oh, really, sir? Carry on. Thanks guys, we'll be leaving. Back to the cruise bazaar. You emerge from the cruise bazaar. You, you, uh, I am at the cruise bazaar. You emerge from the U-Bahn station and out onto familiar streets of the cruise bazaar. 
The energy here is a stark contrast to the wary, slow, drowning mood of gets him brooding. The Christmas eye is on an island of hope. Afloat, uh, still miss the dangerous currents of the Flux state, but it wouldn't take much for it to capsize. It's time to find Gunai and tell him the news. Oh, he'd be pleased to punch. Got my four. Oh, 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 what, what is this? What is this? Yes, ongoing damage, yes. We want ongoing damage. Yeah, you need armor badly. As for you, well... Oh, good night, Ray. We got good news for you. Come here. Come here. Come here. We got good news, man. Good news. <clears throat> Welcome back. You got some weapons. Some. You need some weapons. Some ammunition, perhaps. Hmm. Well, I took care of that business with the robbing guys. So they won't be hijacking our shipments anymore. Made small plays across normally attack term merchant's face. Yes, and my people have already retrieved the shipment exactly where you said would be good work. How would you have to manage that? Yeah. It's got a little messy. But I got the job done. Cold smile flickers across his face. Good. Sometimes a little messy. A little mess is necessary. 
Yeah, so let's see what you got, man. Here's your payment at Farmers and shit. You need any more of this thanks to you? I have some new merchandise available. Would you take a yes, yes I would. What you got? What you got? Oh, okay. I need some ships. Okay. Okay, outfits. I will gladly take that, thank you. It's better, plus it gives me 10 plus in hit points, so, you know, that's all we do. Thank you, good sir. I will come back for your other goodies. We'll keep in touch. Yeah, stay here for now. Because we are still not really done, and I don't know where the hell that doctor is. Lucky strike. Yeah, we got one downtown in it. Downtown LA. A young woman stands at the bar, smoking a cigarette. You've seen her face before. Lucky strike. One of the mercenaries from Monica's files. A plume of blue-gray smoke spills from the corner of her mouth as she turns her attention to you. Hey. The distinctive circuit pattern tattoos that line her face shimmer and pulse with light. You need something? I don't believe it, man. I'm Lance Dragoon. Yeah, I know who you are. She takes a drag on her cigarette. I yelled up, champ. Heard what happened to you, boss. Happens. Brandon Shaw is a dangerous line of work. She, smirks, then she smirks. Then lets the smoke escape from the corner of her mouth. <laughs> so, no, no, it's, so, you need something? Oh, you're just going to stand there staring. Why'd you bring up Monica? Do you know her? I met her a couple of times. Seemed nice enough. Takes another drag on her cigarette. I mostly knew her by reputation. You can't live in this kiosk without hearing about the queen of the Christmas eye. She pauses and slowly lets her smoke escape through her nostrils. You can't say that I was a fan. Cool there. Monica didn't control the Christmas, huh? Didn't she? 
blood sauce you. Then why did the place start falling apart the second that she got geeked? She takes another drag on her cigarette. Smoke spills from her mouth when she speaks. Either Monica controlled the Christmas art, or she had her fingers in so many pies that she might as well have. Comes out the same way. Comes out to the same thing either way. Lucky Strike taps her, taps out her cigarette and leans towards you. A predatory grin on her face. You and your friends, you follow Monica too. Obey her orders without question, right? And that's how. That's generally how a team works, you know. I got a news flash for you, friend. Here in Berlin, teams don't have leaders. The very idea of a team leader runs counter to the spirit of this place. With such a rabid awkwardness, your friends seem awfully comfortable being in power. Kind of contradiction in there, don't you think? Ah, uh, yes. All your points are valid. Huh, I gotta admit, I wasn't expecting that. She was your friend after all. And you're following right along in her footsteps. I don't put friends on pedestals. Monica made mistakes just like the rest of us do. But then why'd you step into her shoes? Why are you making all the same decisions that she did? This is how my friends need help. This is how I give it to them. Got a problem with that? I don't know why we're still talking. Because I never claim to be an archivist. Oh, I had to get that out. There's a long pause. Finally, she shrugs. Fair enough, I suppose. But word of advice. Don't take too much of yourself. Spread the responsibility around. Good of you to care. She turns away. I don't. But in a place like this, stacking too much power or anyone, on any one person is dangerous. That's a true. Not just for that person, but for everybody. The last thing we need is for you to eat a bullet and for this whole place to fall apart again. If my character was in Shadowrun, yeah. He would not be a dragoon, he would be something else. Warming herself in a dim light of a dying street lamp is the wife of a girl who looks far too warm for her years. My mother's superior, she always says there is to be seven for me to cap. I need to see. You're as high as a kite, aren't you? You can fly kites. I should ask the my superior. She says I'm going to be the governess to the children. You know there's a chip jack poking out of beneath the young woman's unruly hair. The vacant look in her eyes marks her as a likely BTL junkie, whilst between reality and any number of better-than-life virtual constructs. I need money to get back to them. But do you know Monica? Monica? She wants this is Addy Abby. No, wait, Monica. A flicker of recognition fights through the haze of the young woman's eyes. Yes, Monica, she's good to me. Brings me food to eat and tea to drink. Not anymore, sweetheart. Despite the woman's persistent derelium, she seems to glean meaning from your tone. On a job, you know. Girl grips her head with claw like hands, tugging at her hair as if she might pull her brain out through. Let's go. I don't like this, but I can't switch it off. Because for Elbi shudders and her eye grows large, but she does not sob. Instead, she smiles a sad smile, which looks to have been worn all too often. She will go to heaven. She told me it is a good place for me. It is a place for good people, stillborn babies and childhood pets, and she was a good person. I'm going to get off her real quick. 
The girl be then begins to mumble to herself while fingering the hair that covers the jack area. And I'm going to step away now. Yes, good. I need to rejoin the children. I'm going to pick the fuck up now. At least for what it's worth, I'm glad I got it done. And I got some karma to spend, so let me do that. Karma, 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 karma. Where's this man? Where's this man? Where's this man? So with that said, I am actually going to stop right here, and in the next part, we're going to deal with those main quests we're going to be dealing with. So stay tuned, more of Dragonfall, right after this. Thanks so much for watching.